So basically, if you don't know what OVO Bounce is, Drake, you know, the sixth god up in Toronto, uh, his best friend Nico, who is a Filipino, has a crew, and they run a basketball tournament where they invite Canadian ballers and also NBA ballers to showcase their skills. So I happen to go and, you know, I shot a video of the last few seconds. So we have that video here. So let's just check it out and let's see how these guys will react to it because they weren't there. All right, so you see there, that's Tyler Ennis. The attacking Canadian boy. Ooh. Mm. Easy layup. Oh, so no, no, that went in. That went in. That was a quick two pointer. Yeah, that was a quick two pointer. That's Brandon Jennings. Brandon Jennings didn't play well. He was like one for 11. And now he's oh, trying to shoot that? it. Doesn't go in. Too easy on that. Well, wait, wait, it's it's 93 92 for Ovio. Yeah, so if he makes it, game. it's clutch. So he's oh. trying to seal the deal. Every, man, every man's getting hyped up. No, it's not happening. And then that's Stanley Johnson. And he has He's the ball a great player. At he the played top. well. He played well last year for uh, for Detroit, actually. And now everyone's standing up because it's one point lead. If he makes this, he seals the deal against the OVO bounce. Oh, he called an ISO. He called an ISO. Oh, that pulled up. Ah, Ooh. sick. And then I go crazy. That's, That's me with the camera skills <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's camera skills. <laughs> That's camera skills. <laughs> and I zoom in to Drake. Look, where's Drake? Drake's like, you know, he's giving dabs to Stanley Johnson. Well, you can't really see him, but. Yeah. yeah, that's what happened. That was live. Was that was live. OVO Bounce was just a different atmosphere. Believe it or not, you we went to U of T. Yeah. The the stadium, the stadium, the gym was, was just that, packed. Yeah. Everyone, everyone was standing up during that play. And as you can see, Brandon Jennings tried to you know seal the deal, but ultimately Stanley Johnson came up with that. So, what are your thoughts about Brandon Jennings or Stanley Johnson? I don't know. I mean, that's good time for like OVO. They get a lot of players. I mean, Drake. When you have Drake and OVO Inviting together, you, yeah. and they have a basketball tournament, obviously p players at that age want to come and like you know meet Drake, have connections, and show like especially in Canada and Toronto, they know Toronto is actually a nice city to go to and just play basketball. Mm -hmm. I mean, just basketball. to be invited to by Drake to play for his uh, tournament, that's a lot of the, that's why a lot of the NBA players are there, right? Like you know, yeah. Tyler Ennis. I mean, like Brandon Jennings to come in, and even Stanley Johnson. I think OVO is yeah. like in OVO bounces like three or four years in, or somewhere around that, and then they've had a good like um, reputation of having a good tournament. Yeah, one at Ryerson, or like mm -hmm. at an exhibition place as well, and now they have at UFT. UFT. Whoa, what else are they gonna play? Maybe the ACC <laughs> one time? <laughs> Soon, yeah. That's gonna be crazy. They're like taking over the six, like basically taking over the six, and there was a lot of fans, a lot of people came out. There are people that I don't think watched basketball, <laughs> but just came there for Drake, and I see the women out there, they were dressed like they went to prom, making making sure they look good in front of Drake. <laughs> they call no, their names, so. Maybe they thought it was a Drake concert. <laughs> no. For free? <laughs> for free, uh, no. no. Yeah. But well, yeah, you have to play for the championship. For the right? yeah. for the championship, it was uh, the Friday was the last day of the OVO tournament. Mm -hmm. But it was good because he gave the public to watch it for free from exactly. Monday to Friday, right. Monday to Thursday. Sorry, right. and then Friday you had to pay to get in and it was invite only. Yeah. So the next video that I have also, uh, we talked about in our previous episode that Tim Duncan retired. That was my mom's favorite player, bless <laughs> her soul. But there's another person retiring, and the hint, guys is right in front of the table, right there. Where? Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Who do you think it is? Wait, Nash retired? <laughs> not, not Nash. He was, okay, he was gone. Bro. He was gone. Let's show the video, man. I'll show you the video. It is not Nash, but his trusty sidekick that made, you know, it was like kind of the Carl Malone and John Stockton thing Stat. on steroids. That's his nickname, Stat. That's just the hint. <laughs> so here we go. Check out this video. Oh. Right there, right? Look at that pass. Oh. 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 Ooh, right on Manu. Steve Nash. Oh. oh! Jefferson. Is that Jefferson? Yeah. Oh. Why doesn't he? Yo, he said he was gonna retire. Oh. But he's coming back. <laughs> he's coming back. He got a ring. But like they made they oh, made a run and gun. Kinda of, like, yeah. at, like that pick and roll, they made pick and roll much more fun and like it was more graceful mm. than like not as graceful, but like, I mean, oh, oh look at that. <laughs> look at his reaction. That, who's that Stephen Marbury? That's Stephen Marbury. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> Everything's a poster right now. Yo, but he was oh, when he, when he was yeah. early in his years. He was yeah, the poster really guy. Good. He, he was, was like really the Blake good. Griffin, DeAndre Jordan of like, you know, back the in the two thousands. Like, oh, oh my, my god, god. he was so athletic when he came into the league. Jeez. Holy, he had that when he came into the league. He just stares at him after. Number one play. Last play. Oh, oh. It's go against Golden State. Oh. Curry's there. Look, hey, Curry. Oh, that was when he's drafted. Oh, oh what are you oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh that was nasty. Can't <laughs> even try.
It was just the perfect time when he uh, when Nash came into Phoenix, right? I think they made the running gun like the game that it is now. Like most like, most teams now play that kind of way now. It's up and down, you know. And Mike D'Antoni was just you know. He played it beautifully. He knew how to use him and Nash. And yeah, was, Amari Sarmer yeah. is like one of those players that it sucks that he had such a great career and but hasn't won a ring at all. Yeah, but, but like, he was nagged by a lot of injuries too. If you yeah, really that's watch what his game. that's what sucks about you know yeah. NBA players that have so much talent and then they have the chance to even him and Nash they were about to probably win a like they a almost, series. They almost, yeah, they yeah, almost yeah. went into but, the and then finals. some stuff happened, injuries. Not just injuries, but like you know, not playing Constant. well mm -hmm. and other other factors, there's a lot of stuff. But like you know, Amari had a good career. It's like uh, compared to Dumb, Tim Duncan, I don't, you can't compare those two. Yeah. But Amari Samra was good enough for him. He was a 20, 20, 20 point scorer. Like when he was, you know, even when he played for the next couple seasons before Kamal Anthony came. Yeah. yeah, he was you know he was playing All Star when he came to. The but Knicks even too. when he went to with the Knicks, they almost made yeah. it to the uh, yeah. finals as well. He was a great player. I and think he was... but he, he he just announced his retirement from the NBA. But he's he, not completely yeah. retired. So <laughs> he's playing for Israel for uh, two years now, and I guess he just. He's done with NBA, but wants to try out Israel and have a have a last run with that. Yeah, yeah. we'll see what happens with there. Oh, congratulations to Amari exiting the league. Too bad you couldn't get a ring, but now you're playing for, I guess, a team that you want to play for. So that's your national team, and Israel is happy to have you. You know, you're such a great, you know, a veteran in the league, and you can bring experience to whatever basketball players and athletes are on your squad.